Hello, my name is Pratiksha from IBM Curadar team and today we will go through the process of manually performing a failover between high availability nodes in IBM Curadar. Manually forcing a failover is useful for planned hardware maintenance on a console or managed host. Before performing a manual failover, make sure the primary and secondary HA hosts are synchronized and the HA cluster is in an active standby state. First, Let's see how to perform a failover via the UI. Log in to Curadar and go to the admin tab. Click on the system and license management tab. Select the HA cluster where you need to perform the failover. For this video, we will be performing the failover of the event processor. As you can see, the primary is in an active state and the secondary is in a standby state. To perform the failover, we need to set the active node to offline. To achieve this, Select the primary node, click on the high availability tab and in the drop down select set system offline. A pop up window will appear saying are you sure you want to take this host offline? We will click ok. Once done the host status will change to offline. The primary HA host status is setting offline. After a few minutes we refresh the page and as you can see the secondary node is in an active state and the primary is in an offline state. To set the primary node to standby state we need to set its status to online. Select the primary node, click on the high availability tab and in the drop down select set system online. The host status of the primary is now toggled to online. As the page refresh the primary HA host status setting online see the primary node has came back to standby state and the secondary is in an active state. Now let's see how to perform the failover via CLI. Here the secondary is in an active state and the primary is in a standby state. We will copy the virtual IP address and will SSH from the console to the event processor. Since the secondary is in an active state, when we log in using the VIP, we log into the secondary node. To check the HA state, we can run the C state command. To perform the HA failover via CLI, we have two ways. We can either run giveback command on the active node or we can run the takeover command on the standby node. Here, we will run the giveback command on the active node. It says giveback started. Now, we will run the watch command to check the status of the HA cluster. Here, the secondary is in offline initializing state and the giveback process is ongoing. The primary is still in standby online state. After a few minutes, we will lose the connection to the secondary node as it will undergo a reboot. Here, the failover is successfully done. When we try to SSH via VIP, we will log into the primary node as it has came into an active state. We will confirm the same using the C state command. Let's go to the UI and refresh the page. After the refresh, the primary is back into an active state and the secondary has gone into a standby state. Thank you for joining us. If you need more assistance, use the links in the description.